I'm gonna finish. La 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 la, la, la wait till I get my money right. Tupac told me back in the days, you know, you had to get your money right and, and then you go to war. So I'm going to war. Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Y'all finally touch the person that's not gonna take it anymore. You can't tell me nothing. Okay, can I finish? Interview adjourned. Peace. Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl Kelly and you are back here with me for another video guys. Once again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I love to see it and I want to thank every in each and every one of you for um, if you're subscribing, if you're returning, if you are commenting, liking, whatever you're doing, I thank you so much guys. And I hope if you have not done any of those things yet, then definitely try it out. Like just, you know, give it a shot guys. What's the worst thing that could happen? You, you know, just ask yourself that, you know, take a chance, hit that subscribe button, join me here on this channel and we're, we're going to get into some things guys. So, uh, I just wanted to say, I, I wanted to jump on here for a quick little video. This is going to be pretty quick because the subject matter is, uh, it is one uh, of contention for me. So it's a little bit touchy. I'm sure you guys have heard me mentioning it um, in, in previous videos. And if you haven't, well, then we're going to get right on into the dirty details of today. I do just want to add, though, a little sidebar. Um, technology is not my friend. And now I have this weird thing going on with that, uh, with my intro video that I have been using for like, you know, weeks now where it's like lagging. And so I was sitting here playing with it for, you know, good 10, 20 minutes. I mean, and, and just, I, you know, me being who I am, I, I can't fix that. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm sure you guys don't care, but listen, just, just a little sidebar. I just had to, you know, pull you guys to the side to let y'all know that was what was going on. Cause I'm sure somebody's going to, um, notice it and, and bring it to my attention at some point in my life. So just wanted to beat you to the punch. So anywho, uh, hopefully we'll get it fixed. And, and if we don't, then it'll just be a lagging ass video. Uh, just like a lot of other things in life. So you want to know what, what is one other thing, though, that is lagging? And I'll tell you right now, it's um, Elon Musk. Okay. And uh, so this is what we're going to get into today, guys. Like I said, it's going to be a quick video because it's not really much here. Um, I have not touched at all on the uh, Twitter files while they've been uh, being released over the course of like however long. It's been like, I guess, a few weeks now that he's been doing this slow trickle. And I've kind of been... Um, not covering this partly out of disdain, you know, partly, but mostly just because they are a big deal. Don't get me wrong. Like what, what they're discovering with the Twitter files has been big deal. People can try to like say online that it's nothing like there's nothing in them. It's just kind of like a, a red, a red herring, you know, like it's not a big deal. It's a nothing burger or whatever they say online. That's not true. Those people are gaslighting you. It is a big deal what they have been doing um, on on these platforms and still to this day, you know, like what they do here on YouTube. I, I know we all love our YouTube overlords, but there is throttling that goes on. There is shadow banning. There is, uh, you know, all kind of weird stuff going on with the algorithms. We know this. And so Elon Musk was just able to bring it to light because he was able to buy the platform that is Twitter. And, you know, he came with this, uh, you know, valiant... Uh, attitude. He was going to like save Twitter. He was like Captain save -a with Twitter. And I think he just let a lot of people down. You know, I think a lot of people are like seriously simping over him and, you know, good for them. But you forgot about the little guy, Elon. You, of all people, you know, you're supposed to be like this big lefty, this big socialist. You're supposed to be the guy of the people. You know, yes, you're a billionaire, but you, you, you're you not practicing what you're preaching, okay? And that is what I'm here to bring attention to on this day. So in the wake of a, uh, and I had already decided that I was going to talk about this. And then he came out like last night, late, all late with this, uh, with this poll. I'm about done with him and his polls. Um, asking if he should step down as the CEO of Twitter. So after doing all this, all this performative uh, business that he has done with Twitter, and basically made it <laughs> into his own personal uh, journal and like a uh, burn book, you know, he, he just, he just continues to uh, be the gaslighting, um, you know, love bombing narcissist that he is. So anywho guys, 
can you tell I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm just a little frazzled dazzled over this whole thing. I still don't have my Twitter back. Did I mention that? I still don't have my Twitter back. Yeah. So let's get into the first article, guys. And I just want, I'm not going to go over all of the Twitter files because like I would, you know, we, I would just have to shoot myself at the end because it's just, it's a lot. I would suggest though that you guys go read it. It's important to understand. It's important to know what our government has been doing to us with the help of a uh, big tech platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all of them, all of them, all of them, and uh, how corrupt our agencies are, like the FBI, we need to, who we need to disband, like, immediately, as soon as we get any kind of power in this country, and I mean, we, as in, like, people who are possibly on our side, because there really is no, like, we, there's, like, the people, you know, the people, like, everyday people that we see in our life every single day, those are the we, but us, as people, we don't have power, so we have to, like, work with some of these terrible people that can get power and can make a difference. So we're, we're in a holding, we're in a holding place right now, guys. We're in a not good zone and uh, I don't like it. It feels uncomfortable in here, but we got to do what we got to do. So, all right, y'all. So let's get into the first article. This is from uh, the uh, AmericanThinker.com. So I just want to read a few bits and pieces from this because it's long. And like I said, I don't want to sit here. It already takes a while. It's already a a good read. But I would suggest if you have time and if you're interested in this, please go read it. Because you need to know, especially if if you're like asking yourself right now, what is she talking about? You need to go read it. So, okay. Um, the, <laughs> this is like, I don't even want to look at this right now. I'm so annoyed with Twitter and like everything that's been going on, but we're going to get into it because it's important. And these are the things we need to talk about. Even if we don't want to talk about them, we need to talk about them. Okay. So the most damning Twitter file just dropped highlighting FBI wrongdoing. Okay. It says, uh, on Andres, uh, Will Wildeberg. Anyways, that guy, um, so Michael Schellenberg has published has published the latest episode on Twitter, and this time it's not Twitter that looks corrupt; it's the FBI, which no, the FBI looks corrupt. What? Are you kidding me? When did that happen? I'm shocked to hear it. Um, it's, wow, dropping bombs straight ahead. Okay, uh, which knowingly lied to um to social media outlets about the Hunter Biden laptop. And yeah, we could have told you that two years ago, guys. Look back, one of the very first videos I did on this channel, and you'll see how long have people been talking about Hunter Biden. And back then, you know, that was like probably, I don't even know how long, I don't want to say a timeline because I don't know. But it was a long time ago. And back then, I was like screaming about why aren't people talking about it. And, you know, people still, some people still to this day, guys, y'all know, the cognitive dissonance is so real in this country that some people still to this day don't even have any idea what a Hunter Biden laptop is. Some people don't even know who Kamala Harris is. I mean, and these people have the ability to vote and they do vote, guys. They do. It's like, it's, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to cry on camera, but this is the state. This is the utter state of our country. So, okay, so let's get to the most important uh, point or let's get the most important point out first. The FBI knew all at, uh, at all relevant times that Hunter Biden's hard drive was the real deal and that every bit of information on it, uh, crooked dealings with foreign governments, money laundering, uh, for Joe, sexual, (laughs) sexually obsessive, uh, videos, drug usage was entirely legitimate. Nevertheless, the FBI aggressively worked with Twitter and other social media outlets to suppress this fact by falsely claiming that the hard drive was Russian disinformation. And I'm sure you've all heard that term before. Some people still think that that is the case. It is not. I'm here to tell you. It is not. It was always real. It was always a thing. Joe Biden's always been a pervert. He's always liked to sniff kids. Hunter Biden has always been doing crack in his underwear uh, out of a hooker's butthole. It's it's always been going on, guys. It has always been a thing. People just did not want to um, I, I open their eyes to it or realize it, I guess. I don't know what kind of weird mass psychosis has been going on, but... Listen, I'm here to tell you guys, this is, this is fact check true. So, um, let's, let's summarize the high points. Okay. The thread itself is at the end of this post, which we might just touch on lately. Okay. So these are the highlights, his, his words. Okay. So number one, FBI officials always knew that Hunter, that, that Hunter Biden's hard drive was real. Two, the day before the New York post wrote about the laptop, the FBI was reaching out to Yoel Roth on its special one way. FBI Twitter line, 
Which, if you didn't know, that was a thing. Yeah. So, apparently, the FBI and Twitter had gotten so comfy cozy together that they were just, like, regularly um, communicating back and forth, like, censoring uh, American citizens. And if you don't understand the gravity of that of that phrase that I just said, you need to do some more, like, you need to educate yourself more. Because the 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 weight that that statement holds the fact that our fbi our federal bureau of investigation was communicating with platforms such as twitter they shouldn't have been communicating with anybody they should never be restricting our first amendment right to free speech because that is a constitutional right and people throw that term around all the time too they think that abortion is a constitutional right it is not neither is gay marriage but we do have constitutional rights, which are human rights. They are, uh, you know, our fundamental rights as, as human beings. The right to be able to speak is is so important to be able to maintain a free society. And the fact that our government was colluding with with these companies to silence us. And they, and they did. I mean, I was one of the people that has been silenced. I have been kicked off of Twitter now. For going on two years this will be my second year off and i'm i'm so banned that like i can't even make any more fake profiles like I've, I've made a few but then now they have me ip and device banned to where if i even you know do anything with my phone it'll automatically flag it and ban the account i have appealed since since elon musk has gotten into power i have appealed this decision and wrote over and over again, saying that, hey, you said you're going to unban us. You said you're going to unban us. Every single appeal, I have I have been rejected. So it's just insane to me that this is the this is the type of thing that they can do. And there's plenty of others like me. There's even people more well known than me. Uh, Nick Fuentes, one of my favorite you know political pundits ever, and one of Ye's right hand men right now. He is still banned off of Twitter. There's others like John Doyle. You know, there's plenty of others that I could like sit here and name that are we are all still banned. And it's just like nothing. It's just like it's become normalized in our society. And that is sick. It really is. Okay. So some other points. Oh, Lord. Okay. I knew this is going to get me fired up. The New York Post uh, publishes its completely uh, accurate expose, which Twitter and other social media companies immediately censor. What happens? The FBI. Or what happened? The FBI is what happened, which is many such cases as this. Uh, number four, long before the NY Post story, when word was getting out about Hunter Biden's laptop and its intersection with Joe Biden, the FBI continuously told Twitter and Facebook to dismiss the information as a Russian hack and leak operation. Even though the FBI concealed it had no information of hacks and leaks in 2020. Yeah, they were too busy, um, you know, going after uh, moms at school board meetings, you know, and, and things like that. So, number five, Twitter itself had almost no evidence of Russian intrusion on the site. The FBI, though, was so insistent about getting Twitter's about getting Twitter to share what little info it had that even Roth pushed back. Nevertheless, in July 7th of 2020, the FBI gets temporary top secret clearances for Twitter executives to share information about election threats. The continuous pressure primed Roth to believe anything the FBI said about alleged Russian disinformation. So they were basically like grooming these people. I mean, the, we've been knowing that the FBI is a bunch of groomers, you know. Uh, just look at the Epstein logs, guys. Just look at, just look at it. Just look at, just look at everything. Just look at everything our government has ever done. And, it, you know, it's hard. I get it. You know, not everyone wants to immerse themselves into things like this. They just want to live their everyday lives and, you know, be okay and not have to worry about things that are so big, like on this level of like, you know, thinking and just understanding of, of power struggles and, and things that are going on in the world where we might never even get a chance to understand exactly what it is that's going on. But at some point, you have to understand that like your country and your livelihood will be taken from you if you don't start giving a fuck about some of this stuff. I'm just saying, you know, and I care too much, you know, almost. I, I'm like to the point where I'm just like, but I, I eventually want to run for office. Like, I do want to uh, get my hands in there and make a difference. I do because I feel like it's just something that I've been called to do and I feel like it's important. Not everyone is like that. But if you don't have any idea of what is going on besides what's in your little I immediate bubble, you know, that's great and all. We used to be able to live like that in this country. We, we did. And we used to be able to have great lives. It is not like that anymore. 
you have to get an understanding of what is going on so, because if not they're just going to lull you into a sleep and which is what they're doing and then eventually take away everything that you have been uh using to ignore all the outside noise and then that's all you'll hear is is the uh you know a drone like they have in china shouting uh instructions at you telling you to get back in your house and shut the hell up or else they're going to send the robotic dog in to come shoot you so that's what we'll wake up to if we don't wake the hell up now you know just saying, guys. Just saying. Look at some of the videos in China. Just look Just look at the internet. Look at the internet. That's all I'll tell you. And I don't mean, you know, your, your friend's Facebook posts and her and her baby and her MLM. I, no, I don't mean any of that. I mean, like, get into the, get into this shit, okay? So, at this point, uh, number six, Schellenberg notes that Twitter's upper management was teaming with employees who worked for the FBI, including Jim Baker. Uh, many of whom were affiliated with James Coney's anti-Trump campaign. So, yeah, that's another thing that came out, guys. And we kind of knew this already, but there's been a pipeline from uh, from federal government to once they are done with their posts, like once they are, you know, there's like this whole like, you know, this whole dirty swampy system where basically like, you know, you, you do favors for other people. You start out as lobbyists. You might start out as this, that you might start out in Congress and then you develop these networks. Okay. And then you put in people into, uh, positions of power that have done something for you and then you owe them a favor and then they owe you a favor. And then eventually you find yourself, uh, an unqualified individual who had been in uh, an anti-Trump Comey administration now working at Twitter to censor some of the people that you have the most disdain for in the world, which would be uh, Republicans or more specifically MAGA uh, Republicans, MAGA Trump, you know, conservatives. And so how is that right? It's not. It's, it's disgusting, first of all. Second of all, it's nepotism. And why are we allowing this to go on? Why are we allowing our politicians to play in our face like this? I don't know, guys. I really just don't know. So a few more p bullet points here, and then I'll, I'm going to get off this article because I think you guys get the point. Um, in September, the prestigious left-wing Aspen Institute had a tabletop exercise to prep social media and traditional media people for a hack and dump relating to Hunter Biden, all aimed at shaping coverage. Yeah, trying to do damage control. By mid-September, the FBI had created an encrypted virtual war room for itself, Twitter executives, and the office of the Director of, Nas of National Intelligence. Okay, guys? A month before the in New York Post uh, broke the Hunter Biden laptop story, the FBI's Laura um, Del Demlo, uh, head of the Foreign Influences Task Force, and Elvis Chan, the senior agent who communicated most frequently with Twitter, gave a classified briefing to Jim Baker. Okay? Jim Baker. Uh, again, the agents knew the laptop was real. So these were people who were, who were like ex, ex employees who were working with Jim Baker at one point in the federal government. He leaves, he's done with his appointment, he goes to Twitter basically infiltrates the whole system and then now they've got they've got a guy on the inside where they can just do whatever it is that they want and that's what they're doing railroading people blocking people taking away people's free speech and it is i'm here to tell you i am living proof guys it's still real it's still going on and nothing has really changed you know and i don't know what elon musk's um angle is here but some people say that oh he's still a force for good if we have if he le if he leaves like we're, it's gonna just get worse. I'm to the point where I'm like almost done with it honestly. I mean it's so annoying to have to watch other people. And for example, let me just show you guys this. Okay, so okay, so we just talked about that. No, I'm not gonna read that. Um, even Mediate had to come out and say which Mediate is like one of the most lefty, like you know, sources you can find. So conservatives were not conspiracy theorists. Uh, Colby Hall calls Bar Barry Weiss's Twitter files thread um, more embarrassing for the company than first thought. That's Mediate saying this, okay? Even they are now having to admit, well, you guys look, you guys look pretty bad. You know, we look bad on a daily basis because we're just like, you know, coming off as like shrill and and lunatic individuals but wow you guys really took the cake with that one 
I mean, that tells you something right there, guys. So just as an example, okay? So Elon Musk came out and one of the first things he did, you know, when he said that he was going to give a general amnesty to people, was he brought back, like, who did he bring back? Some big name people like Donald Trump, okay? President Donald Trump, after he did this online poll asking people should he bring uh, him back, and, you know, of course, everyone said yes. And so he did. And I feel like this was a way to cover his ass. And this is what he's been doing. This is this is the only thing he's been doing. It's been like a slow trickle where he'll unblock like five conservative accounts at a time. And the conservative right or like the neocons or whoever it is will go fucking nuts and lose their mind. And, and just call him like the second coming to Jesus Christ. And say that how great he, he's been for Twitter. No, he has not. Name me. Okay, literally like. And obviously, uh, you know, you can't because those the small people don't get the, the exposure that the bigger people get. But why don't people talk about this? Why don't people ask him to reinstate the accounts of regular people? It's all about reinstating these, uh, you know, and getting these little brownie points that he gets, like for reinstating President Trump or reinstating, you know, the pillow guy. He just did that one, like, not too long ago. Or, like, you know, just bullshit like that just makes me so mad because here I am watching from the outside on read mode might I add look at this just look just look at this right here guys this is my twitter okay right and uh what does it say whenever I try to refresh okay let's see what it says let's see if I can do anything with this uh twitter here oh, I think it said right there in the box okay uh what's going on oh yeah your account is uh suspended and is not permitted to perform uh, this action. I can't perform any action, honestly. I really can't. Uh, breaking. Elon Musk has stepped down as Twitter CEO. He hasn't made that announcement, but you know what? If you do, you know, don't, don't let the door hit you on the way, uh, on the ass on the way out because you have done nothing. You've done nothing. So I've been trying to be patient and I, I was patient for like weeks, but all I can do is sit on here and like read what other people have wrote on Twitter. And if I want to say something, if I want to participate in the conversation, I can't, you know, I, I might as well just diddle my thumbs together because that's all I can do. So it's just so aggravating. And he's done it with other things. Like recently this whole development came that he was, uh, he had banned a bunch of journalists for like quote unquote doxing him. And, uh, and so everyone was all in a f fucking tizzy about that. And he made this big to-do about it, guys, that, you know, he did another stupid-ass poll and, you know, asked if, if he should bring back the journalists that he banned. And you know what he did? He brought them back. He brought them back. Yeah, yeah, he did. Instead of uh, worrying about keeping his promise to people, the real, the real users of Twitter, the real reason why Twitter even exists, he's more worried about virtue signaling and gaining some sort of traction or publicity from this and that is where i don't respect you at all elon musk i do not respect you and might i just add people like keith olbermann people like kathy griffin who they were using their uh dog and their mom respectively they were using alternative counts whenever they got banned which you're not supposed to do that is the whole reason why i don't have my twitter right now they can't say that I that I violated the terms of service because I didn't. But what I did do is create other accounts after I got banned, uh, and you can't you can't like bypass the ban. Like you can't you can't do that on Twitter, which is retarded to me. So that's the whole reason why I cannot get my original Twitter back, and I can't even make a new one now because they know who I am and they'll just seek me out and just immediately ban me. But he'll reinstate people like Keith Olbermann and Kathy Griffin. Okay okay yeah i'll just go fuck myself how about that i'm sorry for the language guys this gets me real mad so the last thing i want to leave you guys with is this video right here because there is another um pretty pretty famous you might have heard of him uh person that is still banned off of twitter and uh, i didn't realize that he was also still banned as well but there's like i said there's 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 a lot of us out here still that are just waiting on the life raft you know we're like the people that are like in the water after the titanic sinks and, you know, I'm just, like, holding on to the board. Like, you know, Jack's sitting there in the water. And it's a shit show, guys. It's a whole mess. And Elon Musk doesn't care. He's, like, the guy that, like, pushes the, you know, he, he pretends to have the kids. And so, like, he takes the spot on the boat. 
and kidnaps these kids basically and pretends like they're his just so he can save himself like that's who elon musk is right now and i don't respect that but i did want to uh show you somebody that i do respect uh peter mccullough dr peter mccullough and i want to show you guys what he had to say about his band and about elon musk because this was pretty keck Okay, let's just watch this. Where do we find and follow Go to guys? my website, PeterMcCulloughMD.com. That'll take you to all the social media. Um, I was the number one doctor on Twitter, currently suspended. Musk doesn't have the guts to let me back on. It's just me. It's mano e mano here right now because I, you know, I eclipsed him on Joe Rogan. I'm the <laughs> overall record setter of just beating Musk. Yes. Um, but he'll let me back on, I'm sure, at some <laughs> point of capitulation. I'm on a getter. I'm on True Social. I'm on Telegram. We have the Courageous <laughs> Discourse uh, Substack. We have Courage to Face COVID-19, our best-selling book, and America Out Loud Talk Okey Radio. Dokey. So he read him the fuck down. He read it. And you know what? You'll hear that. You'll see that the way that my video is lagging right now. You know, it's it's all a conspiracy, guys. I don't know what it is, but I know what it is. You know, if that makes sense. But do you all see the way he just read Elon Musk completely down? And I, I agree with him. You know, Elon, you're a pussy. You are a puss in boots, and I don't like you anymore. So I'm taking my ball, and I'm going home, guys. So y'all let me know, please, what y'all think about all of this madness. And just, just uh, you know, can somebody throw me a life, a life vest, please? Like a raft, anything. Anything. I'll take anything at this point except for this stupid door that I'm stuck on, and I cannot get off of it because I'm just drowning out here in uh in twitter hell so y'all let me know guys in the comments down below please like the video if you like it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys i'm so appreciative of all my new subscribers uh like that literally warms my little heart you guys have no idea how much it means to me and i would appreciate it if you guys would all do it as well if you haven't done it yet and uh guys i will see y'all next time um y'all take care okay and uh we'll 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 we'll, we'll see each other soon okay all right bye la la la, yeah. la la wait till i get my money right tupac told me back in the days you know you had to get your money right and then you go to war so i'm going to war excuse me was you saying something uh-uh uh, you can't yeah. tell me nothing y'all finally touched the person that's not going to take it anymore. You can't tell me nothing. Okay, can I finish? Interview adjourned. Peace.